Hello again folks, and Chuck with you here back from the Gearhead Workshop Workbench again with another update. Uh, took a little hiatus, we had some things going on uh, around the house here, so uh, we're getting back into doing some videos now. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got the MiG-15 all painted up now. We've got our red on for the Red Falcons version. And uh, just last night we also put down this uh, Dura Aluminum color on the bottom. Uh, it's the closest thing that I could find that kind of looked like the pictures I was working off of. So uh, we got that all straight. And uh, next up on this thing is going to be the decals. Um, you can kind of see here I've got my little SMD still hanging out here for my, my front landing gear. And we've got our SMDs hanging out here for our wing navs. And we've got our little red beacon on the bottom which I just unmasked that and we've got our power leads and our switch leads all coming out of here and um, <clears throat> next up on this thing like I said will probably be the decals which uh, hopefully I'll get into tonight uh, we'll get the decals on and start building up some clear coat on this thing and get it kind of slicked up or whatever and uh, the only other thing that's left really to do with this is after that is uh, we've got to get our landing gear all installed and I uh, got to paint the uh, canopy shell and get that installed and uh, we've got our little micro on off switch we're going to be using in the base which that's going to be another one of those uh, little wooden bases I've been picking up at Walmart it's like a little canvas canvas box and we've also got our little micro 9 volt connector we're going to be using we're going to run this on 9 volts I think that's that's pretty suitable for you know brightness and what we got going on in here and uh in other things uh we got uh i have been slipping in some work i just haven't had a chance to make any videos lately I just haven't got around to it and um we finished up the uh bigfoot uh monster truck that i was working on and also the uh the sequest dsv stinger that i mentioned i had picked up on the side and was working on also got that done so uh Real soon here we're going to do a, like a finale slideshow of the Bigfoot and uh, also throw up a slideshow so you can take a peek at uh, what I what I did with the Sequest Stinger which uh, I think it came out pretty cool. I did some mild lighting in it and some detailing on the inside. <coughs> and um, the, uh, the Buddy Baker Charger, that's, that's kind of on the back burner for right now. I'm going to be working on it. I've got to get the... Um, I'm going to get the decals worked out. I, I bought a set for a smaller scale car and we're going to try and blow those up some kind of way and see if we can get them sized up for 116 scale. Uh, so as soon as I can get that little hurdle out of the way, uh, we'll get back to that. But I'll probably be doing some work on on the side. I'll probably maybe throw up an update when I get something further done with that. Probably when I get the engine together. And... Uh, uh, also, probably be another little slideshow coming real soon. I, I got into a spring build for uh, the uh, model shop community spring build. Uh, I'm doing the uh, Horizon uh, T800 Terminator, and uh, he's coming along real well. Um, we got the eyes lit uh, using some uh, LEDs. Uh, basically just need a little bit more of the uh, AK chrome paint so I can do some touch up on him and uh, paint some of the uh, hydraulic cylinders and stuff that still haven't been put on him yet but you'll be seeing a slideshow of him too when he's all done some you know nice shots of him and uh, we're still working our way towards getting into the big TOS Enterprise I had a couple of little small just you know small issues I had to get straight with Paul about some of the some of the stuff with the lighting kit and I think that's pretty much straight now. So um, hopefully before too long, if you guys hang in there, we'll be getting deep into that because uh, uh, I guess most people that model, you know that it's a, it's a big kit. There's a lot going on when you light it. So uh, when we get into that, it'll probably be, uh, that'll probably be mostly what you see for a little bit. I'm going to try and slip in some other things. You know, if I get some other kits in and, and we want to, you know, throw something else up, we'll do that. But uh, we're going to try and stay on that thing pretty hardcore and get it done up because uh, uh, I'm building that for somebody. So, uh, and they've been kind of, you know, patient and waiting. So I'm going to get around to it. It's not a commission job or anything. It's a, 
I'm building that as a gift for somebody in my family that's really into Star Trek. So, uh, we really want to kind of get get that rolling along and get it done. It's been a long wait, you know, getting all the stuff together and getting a lighting kit for it. So now that we've pretty much got just about everything, we're going to we're gonna get into that thing. So uh, I guess, uh, like I like to say, enough of my yammer for right now. I just want to throw up a quick update on the, uh, on the MiG-15. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, you know, like I said, jump into this thing and we'll try and get this thing finished up. Um, you know, uh, for all I could say, the next video might be this finished up, or, or it'll be another update on however far I get on this. You know, when I when I jump back into it now. So uh, I guess until next update or next slideshow, uh, uh, gear head out and uh, peace.